Hi everyone, this is the continuation of my previous video, centrifugal pump overall. In this video, we are going to watch the step by step procedure of assembling a centrifugal pump. Before going to the video, I would like to thank engine fitter Jitin for helping me making this video. First, put the impeller washer on the shaft and fit the impeller key in the slot given on the shaft. Next is the impeller. A impeller cannot be fitted upside down. Check the direction of the vanes and the eye of the impeller considering the direction of rotation of the shaft and then insert the impeller onto the shaft. If the impeller rotates in clockwise direction, the vane should be curved anti-clockwise from leading edge to trailing edge of the vane. Push the impeller onto the shaft and you can slowly tap on the impeller with a suitable hammer till it sits on the shaft properly. Next is the sleeve. Insert the sleeve onto the shaft and slightly tap the sleeve along with the impeller with a teflon hammer till it sits properly on the shaft. and place a washer Apply Loctite solution to the nut, then thread the impeller nut and tighten it and that's it. One end of the shaft is finished, impeller, sleeve and the nut. Let's go to the other end of the shaft. First comes the mechanical seal. Care should be taken while fitting the mechanical seal. Apply Vaseline to the shaft. And now slowly insert the mechanical seal on the shaft till it sits on the step of the shaft. And lock the mechanical seal with the allen screw provided in it. This is the mechanical seal cover and here is the hole and the connection for the cooling water for the seal. This is the stationary seal. It has a slot where it sits on the mechanical seal cover. Apply silicone sealant on the cover and paste the gasket to it. Then insert the seal cover onto the shaft before going for the bearing assembly. The bearing seating area on the shaft is worn out little bit. Hence we have punched the shaft for gripping of the bearing with the shaft. Place the bearing in the housing and fit the bearing along with the housing onto the shaft. Tap the bearing carefully till it sits on the shaft properly.
After tapping the bearing fully, then comes the lock washer. After putting the lock washer in place, tighten the lock nut. The lock nut firmly secures the bearing in place. Then fit the bearing cover over the bearing and tighten the bearing cover using four bolts. The bearing assembly is fitted onto the shaft now. And finally comes the coupling. Place the key on the slot for fixing coupling to the shaft. Then fit the coupling onto the shaft. Slightly tap the coupling till it fully goes and sits on the shaft properly. Then tighten the allen screw on the coupling. It secures the coupling to the shaft. And that's it. We have fully assembled the shaft assembly. Now take the shaft assembly from the workshop and fix in place. Insert the wear rings from both the sides of the shaft before placing it. Both the bottom and top wear rings have a pin. This pin keeps the wear rings stationary in place. Secure the shaft with the cover over the bearing assembly and tighten the nuts. You can use the chart paper for making a paper gasket for the casing or else you can use only the silicone sealant. Use proper chain block, de-shackle and wire sink or belt for lifting the casing. Apply the sealant to the other half of the casing and paste the chart paper to it. Most of the time if this sealant or the chart paper is not cut properly or uh, if it is damaged, water will start leaking through the casing when we start the pump. Use proper lifting gears and take care while you lift the casing and fit in place. While fitting the casing, if the casing goes and hits the seal, it can be easily damaged or broken. So slowly, slowly and carefully, you uh, loosen the chain block and fit the casing in place. After keeping the casing in place, secure the casing using casing nuts. One by one, put all the nuts in place and start to tight it. After tightening all the bolts and nuts using the spanner, you can remove the chain block. And then you can tighten the mechanical seal using the seal cover. Tight the two bolts equally little by little using the spanner. And finally comes the bottom bush. 
Secure the bottom bush to the cover with the screws. Tighten the screws properly in order to avoid the bush rotating along with the shaft. Now insert the bush into the casing. This bush goes over the shaft. The lower end of the shaft that is below the impeller rotates inside this bush. Hence cooling arrangement is provided for this bush. Tighten the bush cover to the casing with two bolts provided for it. So tighten both the bolts equally so that the bush goes inside and get sealed properly. Give cooling pipe connections for the mechanical seal and bush. And that's it. Try out the pump. Check for vibration and sound. Check for any leakages. Check the bearing temperatures and motor amps and the suction and discharge pressures of the pump. I hope I gave a clear explanation on this video. Thanks for watching. In the video, you like this video, like and share it. In the Madri Pala Kadals are in the couples are in the video color Todd and the Paka in the channel subscribe Panidinga Kudaway Abdi Bell icon click Panidinga. Thank you.